um, what's the process of, I'm, I'm imagining, I am just seated here imagining, what's the whole process of having a foreigner come to Kenya technologically, that is from where they sit in in Riran? Mm. What's the whole entire process of ensuring they not get only here? Not only being in Iran, eh, mm -hmm. we also get some other clans from different countries. Okay. And uh, by using social media, mostly IG and uh, uh, Facebook, and, um, and now we are on TikTok. Eh? Also, also, TikTok is giving us business. So uh, by uh, doing a lot of adv advertisement and also... Uh, uh, after advertisement, maybe a client will uh, come uh, uh, across our social media and uh, they check into what we are offering, our packages and all this stuff. And uh, maybe they get interested uh, doing a safari with us or they try us. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll now come down on board with the client and then we start communicating and uh, we give them our best package from transport, we try transport, park fees, accommodation, and whatever else they need. And then if, they, if our package suits them, uh, then uh, they go on and uh, pay for the safari, and uh, we can uh, do safari with them. Amazing. So um, do you have a specific software, specific um, platform uh, they they make booking from, you know, get to book themselves, get their visa, get their passport, uh, ensure their traveling documents are in check. Uh, at the moment, we don't have the software, but uh, we are working on uh, having one. But uh, we just communicate direct and uh, we, we lay the trust. And, uh, and especially with the Iranians, uh, I've laid a lot of trust with them. Uh, one, because uh, uh, Iranians cannot send you money direct maybe to your account or maybe uh, uh, by uh, maybe by wiring the money, Western Union or this stuff. Uh, <coughs> so most of it I'll, I'll uh, use money from this side. I pay for their visas if they are coming. We pay, f uh, we pay for maybe the accommodation and then uh, after paying for the visa now you know that the client is coming because they love to send you all the details and uh, when they come they come with their money whatever you've agreed they'll pay they'll come with the money they pay you and uh, you're good to go it, it's all about trust we 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 we, we work with trust with the iranian and the iranian you see they are they are muslim country and uh, the muslims they don't love aram they love everything straight, and uh, with them, we've laid trust with Iranians. And uh, there are several companies in Iran that I work hand in hand with them. We have an office in Iran. Oh, yeah. okay. Have you have you ever been in a place where you've been scammed? Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you ah, handle that? <laughs> ah, several times. Uh, you get scammed and uh, yeah, you just appreciate. And <laughs> well, you say, you can't go to the room because you can't go to the room. 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 And then eventually they, they, don't, they don't show up. You can't go to the room. And uh, yeah. So, una, una scam you atuna una kubali. Upi kubali kuingia box una ingia tu. But um, where mali ni mefika, it is hard for you to scam me. So, we are, we are smart. So, you have to work smart. Yeah. How has your experience been over the years? A lot of therapy. Iyo ndiyo kitu naeza sema. Me, for me, Safari and my company and my team in the office, I guess napata a lot of therapy and uh, safari is the best. I mean, when you're traveling, let me put it, traveling, and especially traveling, you meet a lot of people. Unakutana na watu tofauti, you meet, uh, you get to see a lot of um, nature. And, yeah, uh, unasikia badu uko kijana. Na kama mini mze, but somebody cannot tell. Yeah. It's an experience going on a safari. What what 
would what would be your opinion of the current trends in the traveling sector or rather in the tourism sector watu wacheze kama hao that what i can say you do your best um, you promote your country you promote uh, what you are doing and uh, you give back to the community that what i can say where do you predict that the market or rather the future of tourism in Kenya is is headed towards? Uh, we are going on a higher level. Tourism in Kenya is going to be... In fact, tourism in Kenya has been a big thing. And uh, we, we, as I look at it at the moment, that the technology... Because everyone uh, globally is becoming smart uh, through technology, um, we are going, we will go far. We will grow big. Tourism in Kenya is going to grow big. And especially when we adapt technology 100%, then Tutayanda uh, Mbali, technology nowadays is everything. Kwa sababu, Mgeni anaeza book safari online. Kwa simutu. And... Uh, kama wewe uji kutumia technology bus so uh, if uh, we adapt technology everywhere in tourism from hotel parks uh, our national parks our res uh, game res uh, reserves and uh, our tour companies uh, then uh, yeah tutainua tourism kenya na tutaenda mbali um wewe kwa in your own opinion the technological aspect or rather the technological strides that Kenya has made in terms of um, ensuring that tourism has been given a bit of a spearheading in the in the in the industry and outside there what do you think would be bettered in terms of technology what can we do better to empower, to empower, yes. empower everybody. Agencies empower, like you to empower yeah, tourists, to, to, get, yeah, to, to empower get, the tourism sector in Kenya. We get, we get, we, the government need, need to get uh, to empower everybody in the tourism industry regarding technology. And uh, when we get empowered, then we will uh, take a step forward. Eh? And also, if uh, the tourism ministry would uh, involve any, everybody in empowering. You see, like, uh, we have a lot of people in tourism. Na tunawale wanajifanya mabwenyenye sana kwa tourism. Ambao kona vikundi mbali mbali. Wana, they try to control everything. But wanasawo ya kwamba pia ukuchini, kuna two operators ambao wako chini na wanajaribu kuinuka. So if um, all of us, ule wachini, yule mkubwa, ule wakatikati, eh, serikali naeza kutuleta and, uh, uh, on board and uh, we get empowered all of us then tourism tourism ushikilia mali pakubwa kwa uchumi wa inji so it's the government to through uh, a ministry of tourism to empower uh, the tour operators the hoteliers and everybody who is under the umbrella of tourism and uh, now we appreciate we have a new cs for tourism <laughs> i was going there i was actually going there uh, what do you anticipate Mutua will change or Mutua will do? Uh, Mutua is a young man. He's very energetic eh? and he's smart. Mutua is a smart guy. Uh, you can see what he has done in Machakos. Eh? Atakama siyasa kidogo. But eh, aingie kwa tourism na ingie na migu yote miwili na auze hii inchi. Let him, let him sell this country. Let him not sleep on the, in the office. Let him sell Kenya and uh, let him uh, empower everybody in tourism. As he, as he tenge ata tour guides, uh, let him mtuwa um, maliuko, cheza kaa wewe, najua unaeza. Ecotourism involves traveling to destination with um, cultural heritage. And I think one of the one of the one of the things that were mentioned in a conversation I was going through uh, yesterday was that we should involve culture as part of our tourism aspect. What is your opinion about that? Exactly, we should involve culture. Um, for the years I've uh, 
gone on safari oh, for the years I've been uh, in tourism, uh, we've been talking about uh, the Maasai and uh, the Samburu and the Trukanas as the most uh, leading culture that we showcase to our, our tourists outside there, even locally. But uh, we're forgetting that we have uh, other tribes in Kenya. So we need to sell uh, tourism uh, to all corners of this country and uh, we involve all the cultures. Because I know, I being uh, from my tribe, eh, we have our own culture. Let us not kill our culture and uh, we rely on uh, Masai ndiyo tunauza, mzungu akikuja, lazima pereko kwa kijiji ya Masai, na tukona ukambani, na tuko kwa akikuyu pia, tukona kwa wameru, wameru wakona tradition yao, na kuna vitu wanafanya kivyao. So let us involve, involve all, all our, our cultures in tourism. And I guess we will go somewhere. Because uh, si lazima mzungu wane Masai na si lazima ende kuona mturukana, na si lazima ende kuona msamburu. Wanaeza enda hata, hata kiambu. I know when you go to kiambu, there are some things you are going to see that are very cultural. Na wakona vitu zao ambaza kushokes. So it is us as Kenyans, eh, we, 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 we revive our culture. Let us not kill our culture. Let us revive it and sell it uh, all over the world. And uh, yeah, we will grow. So, so um... Picking from what you're sharing, a lot of us, or rather, mm. a lot of the tourism sector, what we have seen you people do, uh, people in the tourism, is to sell Kenya so much to the outside community, and you forgot, you forget the domestic travelers. So, what are you doing about that? Uh, let me say we haven't forgotten. <laughs> let me say we haven't forgotten. Anyway, before before COVID. Eh? <laughs> Before COVID, miunge miambia tinaenda safari na mkenya, nige feel kakitu nge. Lakini, eh, mungu kumbe anaeza cheza kae. After COVID came, tukafungiwa kwa manyumba. Guess who supported tourism? Locals. Our Kenyan brothers, our Kenyan sisters, our Kenyan mothers, our fathers, our local grandpas and grandmothers they went on safari like there's nobody's business and uh, we really saw kenyans they woke up wa kenya wakaamua ni ku travel eh kuna mkenya ameishi ajaiona ndovu ajaiona simba ajaiona but after covid eh tulipeleka wengi unaona mtu anashtuka eh hii ndio ndovu unashindwa jamani eh but uh, i appreciate kenyans and uh, we are working uh, uh, to, with also local tourism yeah we have a lot we, a lot of requests. Wanataka kuenda safari. Hata kama si eh, Masaimara, ama si kuenda Nakuru or somewhere. Wanataka kuenda Mombasa. Wanataka wafanyie. They want like you do all the booking from hotel in Mombasa, eh, transportation from Nairobi to Mombasa and back. How they are going to stay, how they are going to move. Wanataka wafanyie. Them is to go and relax. The rest you do and they pay you. That's it. And I appreciate Kenya. The local tourism. Imeinua kambuni mingi hapa Kenya, we've seen. Do, do you feel like there's more we can do as domestic tourists to help in pushing the tourism sector out there? Uh, yes. All we need to do, like we two operators, eh? we'll, we need to also mind about our brothers and sisters here in Kenya. If they want to go on safari, we need to give them the best rates the best they can let us not kill our 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 people to appear the best rates that they can afford so that they may go on safari and they go they may go outside there to mona hata wengi wakienda hata dubai wengine wanaenda zanzibar wengine wanaenda maldives because wanapata rate mzuri so if we can do that more and more and more we can take our people see let us not have that mentality ya kwamba it's only Muzungu can afford to go on safari. In fact, you are more rich than Wazungus. We are very rich. Kenyans, we are very rich. Kusema ukweli. They come and they get surprised. When uh, unamchukua airport and then, hey, this is country. Kwa nafikiri, these guys are poor. See how there's the buildings and uh, a lot of traffic on the road. And are you guys 
ana mafuta ndio hiyo wanaona kweli mko na pesa so we can utilize our our money we can save kidogo kidogo for this and kidogo for that and we go on safari you you've highlighted a very important aspect yenye ilikuwa na end through the back of my mind as as we were talking the aspect of money how affordable is kidogo 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 the the the, the, the least uh, three days safari you can go maybe to amboseli masai mara uh, samburu uh, nakuru uh, the least you can pay kilipa like 14000 hiyo uko na accommodation uko na transport eh no uko na game drive eh? for three days per person sharing eh so if you pay 14000 mimi mkuja mkiwa watu sita na wapeleka safari vizuri comfortable na nawapeleka kwa hoteli mnalala unakula breakfast lunch and dinner uh, and then una enjoy safari so we can kidogo kidogo we can save at least sioni eh, i know kuna wale wa Kenya wazi afford kuna watu wako chini lakini if you come to me me i love supporting i love helping because i know my background if you come to me and niambie hey, eh mzae cuz they call me mzae mzae maze nimefikisha kitu kama niko na kaa kitu ngiri nane hata kwenda safari what can you do for us then naweza kukufit in somewhere na nisimamie hiyo gharama yes so sitakataa kukupeleka safari kwa sababu umekuja pesa yako iko less i'll take you because i know what it takes kufikisha hiyo do but also to see kunywa sana tusao kwenda safari because we spend a lot of money kwa kwa happy na hatutaki kujitibu sisi so tujitibu pia kwenda safari it's a therapy when you are going on a safari um, what, what factors are affecting the tourism sector positively negatively positively covid imeisha na tunainuka i've seen this year we've uh, we've done a lot of safaris nimeona wageni wengi both local and international negatively ile kitu ningesema naona naona rates za park fees ikiongezeka especially Masai Mara eh, Masai Mara wanasema park fee itakuwa kuanzia next year somebody will pay like a citizen will pay 5000 park fee for a day and eh, mgeni wa nje atalipa between 100 dollar and 200 dollars per day that's a lot of money it's a lot so hiyo inaweza gonga negatively inaweza tugonga kibiashara kwa sababu utaanza kumwambia je mgeni park fee ni dola 200 okay atataka kulipa but pia wageni wanafinyika si ati wako na pesa vile so negatively eh tusipandishe park fee negatively tujaribu ku maintain eh, E, park zetu tujaribu ku maintain barabara za park zetu e, na tujaribu pia <coughs> kukuja tu pamoja kama familia <coughs> moja under the umbrella of tourism yeah. last week was um, we commemorated the world tourism day and i think i had a conversation here and someone was um, one of the issues that were emerging was the fact that we have sold one part of Kenya as a tourist attraction site yes. as a tourist destination um, as a tourist you know so what are you doing in the tourism sector to ensure that it's not just one place whereas there are so many other things to see in Kenya uh, for me and my company let me speak for myself and my company uh, we mostly we sell Masai Mara. Masai Mara is after it was themed uh, being put in under the eight wonders of the world uh, a lot of people request for Masai Mara. But for for me uh, we are we are going the opposite direction too. Also we have a little of Masai Mara but we have also uh, Samburu, we have uh, Olpajeta and uh, we have uh, Meru National Park. In fact, Meru Meru National Park is one of one of my favorite parks because uh, Meru you will get everything. You will get all the big five in Meru. And uh, we are also focusing on uh, going western side of the country. We have several uh, 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 touristic attraction and um, kidogo pande ingine 
uh, um, uh, cost. Yeah. Do you do you feel that, like the government is, um, other than now the reshuffle and waiting to see what the new CS will do in the tourism sector, but you feel the government is supporting, um, does enough to support the tourism sector and sell Kenya as a traveling destination? Yeah, the government, the government is trying. Let me say, let me put it, it's trying to sell uh, the country, but also depends with the CS. If uh, the CS is, uh, is not of the tourism sector, then I guess uh, we go the wrong way. But if we, can, uh, if we have somebody when you have interest in tourism, then uh, I guess we'll go somewhere. And uh, I hope CS Mutua interest in tourism because you also do somebody does something that he loves or she loves so mutua tourism then to and bali and the government will uh, the resources if tourism gets uh, the ministry of tourism gets a lot of resources from the government then yeah because uh, tourism in a letter person in kenya it brings a lot of money in kenya yeah um, what would you um, advise um, a tourist, whether do domestic or international, when they are considering for, um, I'm referring this to last week conversation still uh, about uh, commemorating the World Tourism Day. One of the hi highlighted issues during that time was the traveling times, especially with the global warming and the climate, uh, climatic conditions changing. Kula time to kwa tunona indio time ya mvua, sasa imekuwa ni time ya jua, indio time ya jua. So what would you, what would you say as mm, prime times for people traveling, whether into the country or? Outside the country. I guess in Kenya, uh, whether it's raining or it's not raining, uh, safari is always the best. Uh, whether it's very hot or it's very cold, eh? uh, safari is always the best. So all I can tell uh, is uh, it depends with the season. We have the low season, high season and peak season. And when I'm saying that, it will depend with your pocket. If you're coming for low season, eh, the budget is low. If you're coming for high season, the budget is a bit higher. If you're coming for peak season, the budget is very high so uh, about the climate change and everything whether it's raining or it's not raining safari is in fact it is adventurous when you are doing safari when it's raining yeah when you are driving and the car decide i'm not going that way i'm coming i'm going this direction yeah and uh, a lot of wageni love uh, they are that adventure so i can advise people especially when you're coming and you're going on safari uh, safari is safari any time of the day any time of the month, any time of the year, it is safari. Amazing. Yeah. As, we pre as we bring this conversation to a close, predict for us the future of tourism in Kenya. In Kenya. Uh, we will grow to about 95%. The growth is going to be up there. And uh, we will receive a lot of tourism if we decide to go the opposite direction, let us not focus on Europe, America, German, France. I mean, Middle East, we can go the opposite direction. We try and uh, source a uh, clan from all over, even our neighboring countries. Eh? There is somebody in Tanzania who wants to come and tour in Kenya. They want to see what is this Kenya has that we don't have. Even in Uganda, they can come. Let us focus on selling uh, uh, tourism, uh, especially the touristic attraction. Let us sell it uh, in uh, different ways and in, in different countries and different uh, places. And uh, we, let us market it. Let us market Kenya devotedly. We will uh, go to about 95%. Yeah, growth. When you're not traveling, what do you love doing? <laughs> Charity. Charity. I love giving back to the community. I love giving back to the community. 
there is a there is a group we work with an N NGO. It's called Kibwezi Well Wishers. Um, we give education, health, and we give uh, we plan environment. We're planting a lot of tree. We are planting a lot of tree. We want to regrain the country where we destroyed our forest. Uh, we, 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 we are trying to regrain it. So I love giving back to the society by those three things. Yeah, kupeana. How does your day look like? I'm that ule ule boss symbol. This is an anchor diary. Siku yangu ni siku yangu. Nikiamuka ni naingia ofisi. Tunaingiana na wafanyi kazi. You will never know. In fact, in my office, always you are in your boss. Always you are not in your boss. Kwa sabu, sisi tuko team. So my day is always squeezed. Nakini si sana. Napata time. Amazing. Yeah. Asante sana. Thank you for making time to talk to us. You want to give us your social media handles? Oh, yes. Use that camera. Uh, no, to shot. Kwa irini. <laughs> Wa Kenya menzangu. Uh, you can find us on uh, IG, Facebook, uh, TikTok. Where else? Yeah. Uh, Angole Tours and Travel. Our website is www.angoletoursandtravel.com dot co dot ke our number mm. yeah 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 give us a call we'll arrange a safari for you we give you the best in fact our motto is <laughs> travel discover and repeat so you repeat you repeat because you've enjoyed our safari you've enjoyed the safari with us thank you Asante. Thank you, Sana, for making time. We Kar appreciate we appreciate your time. Karibu. That was Joy Mule, CEO Ankole Tours, talking to us about the trending emerging issues in the tourism sector. Don't touch that dial. Stephanie is coming back with more. Imagine. Vijana chapakazi wenye nguvu za zi.